Hello and welcome to Business Reporter's Future of Retail campaign. I'm Alastair Greener. Why do we need brick and mortar stores? In the age of e-commerce, retailers and banks are celebrating the benefit of online customer services. They claim that branches on the high street can never offer the intelligence that digital outlets can. When customers shop online, with every action of theirs, they give away data that can be recorded and processed. But when they walk into a store, many of their actions remain invisible to retailers. Or not. IoT, edge computing and smart applications can empower businesses to gather all the information they need to analyse and turn it into actionable insight. How? And what are the challenges that come with this opportunity? With us today is Stuborn Torbiakia from Advantech to discuss how to impress customers who want to browse our inventories. Good morning. Good morning. Why is people count and receipt information no longer enough? A 2D drawing contains less information than a 3D drawing. And here we're trying to understand the consumer. We want a holistic picture of it. The more data sources, the more variation, the better. So you're saying we should be getting more data, but where is that data coming from? Where is it just lying around for us to be able to gather? The interesting thing is just that, what you're saying, the data to a large extent is already there. It's not just not being put to use. So there is a wealth of information to be had from the POS, from your potential people counting system, from the work rosters, from your inventory systems, etc. It's there, put it to use. Let's look at the, um, the, the shopping habits of people there. We're walking around the store. You're gathering some more information about them. So then how do you then process that information and then turn it into a business benefit? I think the key thing there is by what I call the three C's. It is combining, comparing and correlating various data sources. The pattern people take in store is one thing, what they buy or don't buy is another. When you put them together, that creates insights. How does heat mapping work? Heat mapping, you use cameras to count people in a specific area. You display those results as color patterns on a planogram or on a picture and color code it so that uh, a certain color represents low frequency of visitors, another color represents high frequency of visitors. Now, heat mapping is just one technology. What about the other technologies that can be used to assist in gathering this data? Basket analysis, campaign analysis, again, the correlation of work schedules against sales are all very useful tools to understand better the store performance. What about dual conversion rates? Why are they a more reliable source of information than traditional methods? Because the key to selling anything to anyone is getting them in your store. Dual conversion means you measure first the ratio of passers-by that go into your store and then how many of those in-store visitors that transform into buying customers. The problem might not lie inside of the store. It might be a branding problem that turns people away from entering. And how does this combine old school tracking with new technologies? From Advantech's point of view, the WisePass uh, Store BI that we offer, the Store BI, the solution ready package is traditional technology. The important thing is the WisePass open platform that allows you to put data from various sources together in a framework so it can speak with one another, thus reaching these insights that are needed. Now, at Advantech, you're really taking advantage of technology when it comes to the retail industry, and you've given us an outline there of what you're doing. What about the future? Give us a little bit of a glimpse over the next five years, some of the technology and some of the different ideas that we're going to see come to play in the retail industry. Where I think we're different from many of our colleagues is the fact that we want to provide a framework to retailers. We don't believe that we sit on the solution for retail. We will continue to bring hardware products out to market. 
that enable retailers to gather data and send it to the cloud for further processing. Our WisePass platform allows various solutions to interact and to create a further benefit. We believe that the future of retail lies in co-creating it together with end customers and our partners. We've talked a lot about the importance of making sure that retailers are using technology to their advantage. What would you like key stakeholders who might be watching this interview, what are the key things you would like them to remember? Technology is not dangerous. It's nothing to be afraid of. Technology is an investment. It's not a cost. And technology frees up time for the interpersonal communication. You actually give store staff more time to, in the correct way, deal with customers. Well, we know that change is inevitable and we know that the retail industry has to change and most of that change is going to come through technology. So it's been great to find out more and also to get a glimpse into what the future is actually going to look like. Stubion Torbjeka from Advantech, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for having me.